Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayush and you are watching the Indian Dev. So guys, in this video, we will be learning about the polyfill of promise.race and if you haven't watched the previous videos where or we have written the polyfill code of promise.all, promise.any and some other polyfills as well. So if you haven't watched, you can definitely go and watch on the channel. And yeah, uh, before jumping onto the topic, I would like to make sure that if you guys are new to this channel, the Indian Dev, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you guys are you know using instagram on a daily basis then you can definitely follow the indian dev over instagram where i am constantly sharing the tech related content which is you know mostly related with the web development so yeah you can follow me over there as well now let's jump onto the topic that is uh, polyfill of promise.race so if you are on this video then i consider that you know that what are the promises what are the states of promises now we will directly discuss about this particular method that is promise.race so yeah, as the name suggests promise.race, so from all the provided promises, whatever the promise is settled first, that will be the output from this particular method. So if we can have a look, if I'm having three promises uh, that you can see on my screen, promise one, promise two and promise three, let me resolve them so that uh, we don't see any exception. Okay, so here are the three promises. So in this, we can see that this is instantaneously resolving this is taking some time that is one second or thousand millisecond and that is that is already a resolved value what we can do is i can write the syntax for promise.race okay so here we are having the syntax of promise.race so whatever the value is resolved or rejected first that will be there in the output so here you can see that this is the first thing that has been resolved and if i will change the you know uh, this thing if i will keep promise 3 here and keep promise 1 there then you will see that 10 is the output so whatever the thing that is coming first and that is you know resolved first or rejected first that will be uh, printed as the output okay now let's see if uh, this thing is rejected then what is the response so here you can see that uh, data is not defined okay so error is here here you can see that this is the promise one which is available at the first index and that is instantaneously rejected and hence the first thing that is settled is uh, in the console log and that is in the catch format so now i believe you understand that how promise.race is working and how it is you know reflecting the data in the console and now one thing that i would like to share here is uh, that is a new concept or new thing that maybe it is new to you like if i we are writing any promise code like this is promise.race okay so there are two approaches we can have separate then block separate catch block but instead of that there is another approach that is if we want to catch everything in the same block that is then block so if i'm writing this like uh, error is equals to console dot error and printing the e and removing the catch block then this is the same thing which is similar to then and catch block the only difference in these two syntaxes are uh, whenever something is rejected then this particular uh, syntax will take a little more time in comparison to this syntax this is getting everything in the same block while this is getting the exception in the separate block so these two are both of the both of these are the same thing but the only difference is it is a little faster in comparison to separate then and catch block now let's see we will see its uh, demo like when we will be writing the polyfill code of uh, promise.race so i will be writing the code promise.myrace so it is my method so i am naming it as my race uh, let me create a method as we know it is taking the inputs uh, so input is array of promises okay so this is fine and we all know that promise.race again returns a promise that we can always resolve or reject so let me return return a new promise now what we can do is uh, we know that this is the array of promises and array of promises so what we can do is we can start with a loop as we need to traverse all the arrays so i is equals to zero i is less than the array of promises dot length so this is a simple for loop where we will be you know iterating with all over promises that has been provided so as we know that uh, whatever the thing that we are receiving uh, at index i that is a promise so whether it is resolved or rejected we need to entertain that so data data is uh, you know resolved if this is resolved what we will do is we will simply send this data back to the calling state similarly if we are having any error we will send it to 
reject okay so as of now this is the thing let me you know rewrite it for our case promise dot my race and let's see how it is working okay so there is an exception because we are having a value promise 3 that is not a promise so one thing we can do is we can create every input as promise dot resolve so if it is not a promise then also we will be converting it to a promise now here you can see like if i can uh, convert it to resolve again here you will see that the response is same whatever the value uh, whether it is you know resolved or rejected whatever coming first this promise will be settled down into the same state but now here if we can see if i am rejecting this then you will see that different outputs are there uh, like from line number 17 it is you know this promise dot race is throwing the exception while uh, from our my race method it is you know returning this particular thing that is resolved data okay so why this is happening because if any promise is rejected it is going to the catch block and now let's see the concept that we learned that if we can replace this uh, let me format again okay if we replace this then in catch block with uh, let me copy this and paste it here with this then you will see uh, let me comment it out okay so here what i need to do is i need to resolve it if this is the data resolve data and if it, this is the exception i need to reject it object is not iterable okay promise dot not race resolve okay now you can see that the responses are the same so this is the perfect code for the polyfill of promise dot race method and the only tricky part like the definition is very simple that uh, whatever the thing is uh, settled first you will receive that thing in the console or in the uh, response from promise dot race method but the only tricky part is that under the hood it is not using the traditional way of you know handling the promises with then and catch it is using this syntax which is you know making it faster to decide that what it is receiving on the first hand okay so that's how we have achieved the uh, polyfill code for promise dot race and i believe you have learned few things from this uh, video itself so if you really like this video and if you have learned anything from this video then please like this video and if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to the indian dev thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much